Hey, I'm Kendall with Black Ovis, and we're talking sick of pants today. Gonna do a overview of kind of what I would say is your mid to late season pants in the Sitka line. The three pants that I've got in front of me are the Apex pant, which is here on my left, the Mountain pant, which everyone's heard of the Mountain pant, uh, which has been in the line for now almost 11 years in various iterations, and then the Timberline pant over here on my right. The, uh, as far as the, the pricing goes on these three pants, you've got $229 for the Apex, $199 for the Mountain pant, and $249 for the Timberline pant. Uh, knee pads, all of these pants come with knee pads. Uh, that's a common feature across these, these pants right here is they're removable knee pads. The sleeve is, is down in the, in the inside. The knee pads are a little bit hard uh, to take out with the pant on, not impossible. All these pants uh, utilize a gusseted crotch, so a little bit extra room for mobility and a little bit of a taper to the legs uh, so you don't get a lot of that, the, the pants kind of swishing or hitting together as you're walking or particularly stocking. Um, pocket configuration, you've got a hand pocket that's not zipper entry on the Apex pant and on the mountain and on the Timberline, a zipper entry pocket. One thing that the Apex pant, now the Apex is really, it's kind of that, it's an outlier a little bit for mid-season. I, I love it for the mid-season because it's very versatile and you can go early season on this pant. The reason I'm mentioning that is because on the inside of the, the Apex pocket pant, you've got mesh, while on the inside of the pockets on the uh, Timberland and Mountain pant, it's a, it's a very light fleece or what's called a brush trico. It usually, both these pants utilize the brush trico through the waistline, which adds a little bit of warmth. And then both of these pants are a woven versus a poly spandex. This is a poly face with a bonded back fleece to it, which is a, is a grid fleece, very, very lightweight grid fleece. Um, on the Timberland pant, as far as we're talking fabrics, um, you've got a, a stretched nylon here on the Timberline a poly woven here on the, uh, on the mountain. Apex definitely wins on the quiet scale. This is a very, very soft fabric, and it is, does get softer with, with more warm, more, with more washing, excuse me. Uh, the mountain and the Timberline are very, very similar as far as, they're not super quiet, but they're also not noisy uh, when compared especially to the, uh, to the Apex pant. As far as stretch goes, all three of these pants are a four-way stretch, DWR treated, and also they utilize the polygene uh, technology, which it helps eliminate scent and keep scent, scent to, a, to a minimum or not allow bacteria to grow. As far as weight goes across these pants, the, uh, the ascent come, or excuse me, the, uh, the, the apex comes in at 16.5, 16.6 ounces. The mountain pant weighs in at 27 ounces and the timberline pant weighs in at 36 ounces. As you can see on the Timberline, it comes with the uh, suspenders. Mountain Pant does not come with the suspenders, but allows the suspenders to be used with it. And then the Apex Pant does not have the suspenders. All three offer a two-way two -way zip on the fly and a very nice rugged uh, uh, button at the top. A couple of things I'll mention as far as pattern. The, the Apex Pant only comes in the subalpine, as you see right here. The Mountain Pant comes in Optifade Open Country, Optifade Subalpine, as well as the, the dirt pat, the dirt solid you see here. The Timberline pant comes in open country, subalpine, and in what's called lead, which is a very dark gray. As far as use and time of year, the Apex pant really is the earlier of these three pants here. The Apex pant is going to be used, I use it from kind of mid or late August, well through September, and I bump it into October uh, and making it really kind of a early to mid-season pant, but it, it really shines on a mid-season pant if you're a high output kind of guy or a high uh, you know, action or acti activity use because it, it is a little bit lighter weight ounce per ounce and it does breathe a little bit better because you have less fabric there. The mountain pant is, is really that one pant that can do everything. Use it in late August and early, early September, you're probably gonna be a little on the warm side. Use it all through like mid-September, well into October and probably first bit of November. This pant is gonna shine, drop a base layer underneath it, and you're gonna run this well into November and probably into December uh, for the right kind of guy and right kind of hunt. As far as super active hunting, 
that's where the mountain pan, mountain pan is going to be fantastic. Like here in, in, in the Wasatch, you know, we'd have the late, late archery season here on the front. This pant just crushes as far as being able to use that late well into early December. The Timberline pant is the, the heaviest weight and probably the most bomb proof pant because it's got the reinforced knee, reinforced seat, which also has wind stopper on it, which will repel some water and of course cut wind. The, the, the use time that I find on the Timberline pant is really that middle of October all the way through December. And I've even hunted like chucker well into January with the Timberline pant. So this rounds out kind of Sitka's mid to late season with a little hint of early season here on the Apex pant. I hope this has given you an idea of when you might use these pants. I've used all three of these. I absolutely love them. And, and I continue to use them in different time periods throughout the year. If you have any questions, further questions about each of these pants, we've got other videos that break down the specifics a little bit more in detail, or you can certainly reach out, just drop a comment in the video here. Check us out on blackovis.com, drop us an email or give us a phone call, and we'd be happy to try and get you into the right Sitka pant for your style of hunting.